hello everybody god bless you and welcome back to my youtube channel i'm prophet shani bigford and in today's video as you can see based on the caption based on the title i'm going to be sharing with you a few signs of spiritual awakening or that god is awakening your prophetic giftings before i go any further please make sure that you like if you find it interesting be sure to leave a comment in the comment section also subscribe if you haven't subscribed and please also feel free to go ahead and hit that share button copy that link share with a friend or a family so we can continue to grow and be a blessing to as many more persons so without any further ado let's roll the clip and come right back So today I'm going to be sharing with you a few signs of spiritual awakening or that God is awakening or provoking prophetic gifts on the inside of you. Number one sign is you know things that you would not naturally know. So perhaps you're having deja vu experiences or you're seeing things happen that you would not have known prior from natural intellectual knowledge on your own. So you're seeing things happen, you're seeing things come to pass, you're hearing people say things that you would actually already know by the Holy Spirit that these things are going to happen. So the first sign is you're seeing things happen that you would have already known by the Holy Spirit that you could not have thought of on your own so things happen that you wouldn't actually know by yourself number two is you pick up on things that other people are experiencing or feeling so you have this ability you have this gift this grace where you can know what someone is going through you can know what someone is feeling emotionally you can know if someone is sick when you are around them because of the impressions that the holy spirit is placing upon your life so you know what other persons are going through without even trying it's kind of like you're picking up on people's energy it's not so much energy but you're able to discern your spiritual discernment is being awakened and you can tell when someone is not feeling well and so it's easy for you to say to someone that this is what is happening or that's what is happening not that anyone told you but your spiritual senses are being awakened and you can tell that something is right or something is not right that's also another sign the fact that you are being more sensitive to things that are off so things that are off or things that does not seem right things that are wrong or bad for you you have that impression within your spirit that something is definitely not right number four sign is you feel literal pain for persons when you begin to pray for them or the Holy Spirit places them on your heart so you may be praying for someone and while you're praying for that person you may have a sense that something is wrong or you may begin to feel an actual physical pain in your body it takes a discernment it takes a wisdom and maturity to begin to grow and identify that most times the pain that you feel when praying for someone or when the Lord places someone on your spirit that pain does not belong to you oftentimes you're feeling something that someone else is actually feeling or what someone else is actually going through so you have to grow in maturity and develop your prophetic gift to be able to distinguish between your pain someone else's pain your emotion and someone else's emotion Another sign that you're caught to the prophetic and that spiritual awakening is taking place in your spirit is that you are drawn to the prophetic and you're drawn to supernatural things. So once you begin to have that extreme desire to get more information on the prophetic, some of you who are watching this video know you're just seeking out as much as you can on prophetic information. You want to learn more on the prophetic. You're reading books, watching conferences, reading up on Google, watching YouTube. YouTube videos you're trying to gather all the information you can so that you are keeping abreast and you're educating yourself on the gift that you think you believe or you believe that God is calling you into so you're drawn and fascinated to the prophetic and supernatural things more than ever another sign that God is calling you into the prophetic or you indeed have a prophetic or supernatural gift that God is trying to awaken is that the Holy Spirit has been waking you up at a specific time in the night or morning to pray or to spend time with him so if you feel and you have been experiencing that every morning God is waking you at 2 a.m. 
3 a.m., 4 a.m., or 5 a.m. to pray and to spend time with God, it is definitely a sign that there's something that God is calling you to do, that He wants to fellowship with you, that He wants to develop and nurture that prophetic or supernatural ability, and He wants you to grow in that which you have called Him into. Intimacy and intercession is the birthing ground and the foundation of any prophetic gift in or any supernatural gift. And so if He's waking you up to pray, it is because He wants to build a firm foundation and He wants to equip and train you to nurture you for that which He is calling you into. Another sign that you're called into the prophetic or supernatural is your eyes are being more open and you're being drawn or you're more sensitive to colors. When prophetic people are, once you begin to grow in the prophetic radar, your eyes begin to open up to certain symbolic things such as colors. And so colors is something that you're now being mindful of. If you see someone wearing red or the Holy Spirit leads you to wear red or white for a couple of days, it is something that he wants to do with you or he wants to do through you. Another prophetic symbol that helps you to know, another prophetic symbol that helps you to know that there's a prophetic call on your life is the fact that you're being drawn and your eyes are being open to numbers. So perhaps you're not sure if you're a prophet, if you operate in the supernatural, but you feel recently that the Holy Spirit has been opening your eyes to numbers. So everywhere you go, you see a particular number. You see it on car license plates, you see it on the TV, you see it on your phone. The time is always 11, 11, 12, 12. And so numbers is a way that God communicates to us. And so you are being more sensitive to numbers as the Holy Spirit is opening your spiritual eyes. Another one is your emotions are being challenged. Once you're caught to the prophetic, there's something that is called swinging the pendulum, which means that prophetic people has to learn to deal with their emotions. You could be up one day, another day you're down, one moment you're celebrating victory, you're contented, it's all going good, and then before you know it, the enemy strikes, you're sad, you feel depressed, you feel anxious, you're trying to work through your emotions. When you understand or you have studied the life of Elijah, he was just on the mountaintop, slain over 450 prophets of he should be celebrating victory God used me he delivered God is mighty you know by the time he got from the mountain he got news that Jezebel wanted to kill him feed his blood to the dog feed his blood to the dogs dog would lick his blood and he went to hide he went he hid himself and he began to hide so he was just happy no he's dealing with depression he wants to die pretty much probably suicidal and so that's what it means to swing the pendulum one moment you're good by a split second you're dealing with a warfare or you're dealing with your emotions Another thing is, another sign of spiritual awakening or that you're called to a prophetic gift in order the supernatural is a stagnate, stagnancy or dormancy, it frustrates you. Prophetic people cannot stand dormancy or stagnancy. We believe by all means that there is something more that God is calling you to more, that there is greater, there is deeper. There has to be more about God. There has to be a higher level of worship. There has to be a higher level of intercession and intimacy with God. And so prophetic people are when you come into spiritual awakening, you are fascinated with finding out more about God, coming to a deeper and a greater place with God. So if you are experiencing this, there's a sign that God is sharpening you and that God is activating and awakening you into your prophetic or supernatural gifts. Another sign that you're coming into the prophetic or into the supernatural or spiritual awakening is you dream a lot. So you will begin to dream a lot of things that are happening around you. Dreams indicate activities that are happening around you, both spiritual and physical. And once you go to sleep, the Holy Spirit will allow you to dream and see certain things. And most times, the things that you dream, they will actually begin to come to pass. Perhaps you will also have the ability to start to identify and to interpret dreams along the way. Perhaps if you are not matured enough, you may not be able to, or perhaps you can, but this is definitely a lesson that God is calling you into the supernatural. Another one is you are sensitive to climate changes. So you are sensitive to atmospheres. Your discernment is pretty much going through the roof. If something is not right with the atmosphere, even in church or work, you're able to tell. There are some people that say, I'm able to pick up on a vibe or energy. But as prophetic people, we understand that atmospheres can change based on people or demonic interference. And so you have the ability and the grace of God to identify and to interpret our 
be sensitive to atmosphere changes. The final one I'll share with you for today is you are sensitive as it relates to animals. There are certain animals that may come into your home. The Holy Spirit begins to draw your eyes into these animals. If you dream see certain animals or certain animals are on your house, around your home, wherever you see certain types of animals, you're more keen and sensitive to the animals that you're seeing. So if you are seeing a lot of wasp, if you're seeing a lot of black dogs, a lot of black cats, a lot of black birds, then this is the way that the Holy Spirit will begin to draw your attention to these birds to say, hey, there's a witchcraft operation that's in this region or something is going on that's not right. Perhaps you're seeing doves, you're constantly seeing doves or certain types of birds or whatever it is, then you can know that the Holy Spirit is also trying to communicate something to you. So these are a few signs of spiritual awakening, prophetic awakening, supernatural awakening that God is doing through your life. He wants to awake on your gift. He wants to provoke. He wants to stir up your gifting so you can walk in the fullness of your purpose and your call. If you have experienced any of these that I have shared, I want you to go ahead, leave a comment in the comment section. Like the video if you found it interesting and please feel free to subscribe, hit the share button and thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you believe that there is something more that God is calling you into a deeper relationship with him to fulfill or to serve in ministry, then look no further. Here at Elevation Bible College and School of the Prophets, we are taking the time out to train, to equip, to mobilize, to develop students to walk in the call of God that is upon their lives. So whether you're called to be a pastor, an evangelist, you're called to be a missionary, you're called to work as an administrative person, and are within the church, then you have found a school that will be able to equip you in any of these calls. Perhaps you're not even sure you're called to ministry, but you do want to ascertain as much information as you possibly can that you may be an effective evangelist. You can minister the word of God also in the marketplace or vocationally, then you can study with us. So here at Elevation Bible College, we offer programs such as a certificate in Christian ministry, which has as the five courses listed homiletics effective christian leadership pastoral care evangelism and the holy spirit and fivefold gifts we also do a certificate in evangelism we also have short courses that are available for four weeks this includes our prophetic course so if you believe that you're called to the prophetic and you believe that you want you believe that god can use you to definitely be a voice to the nations you want to learn how to sharpen your prophetic voice, how to hear the voice of God much clearer, how to see and engage the supernatural much clearer, what channels the Holy Spirit speaks through you, how to hear the voice of God, what are your functionalities as a prophet, perhaps you're caught but you have no idea where to go from here, then you should be taking our prophetic course. Perhaps you are interested in the supernatural, you want to understand the whole angelic realm, you want to, you want to experience your spiritual eyes be open to see to engage the angelic dimension the third dimensions of heaven then this course is for you so we have a prophetic course a supernatural course we also have a course in deliverance which helps you to understand how demons operate how to cast them out with power authority and the name of Jesus the hierarchy of demons how persons are demonized the signs of demonization and signs of expulsion generational curses bloodline curses then you should also be taking our course in deliverance. We also offer courses in angiology and the Holy Spirit and evangelism. So if you feel like you are called to ministry and you are interested in any of these courses, feel free to go ahead and send us an email to register today at Elevation Bible College at gmail.com or call our office at 876-215-5484 to get more information or to purchase your application form so you can begin to study with us. Once you have registered and you have joined our family here at Elevation Bible College, you will be a part of a warm Christian community where you can study, you can get to meet many students across the nations, America, Canada, India, Jamaica, 
Jamaica, Trinidad, Barbados, Africa. There are so many students that are currently being enrolled into our institution. If you are not in Jamaica, that means that you will be studying with us virtually. So once you have a computer, a laptop, a device that can connect with the internet, then you can definitely study with us virtually. At the end of these courses, we do have an in-person graduation. You can get your graduation. You can get your graduation package. You can get your gold and get your hats, get your families, and we'll have a wonderful graduation together. You will also meet our wonderful, lovely, Christ-centered, faithful instructors that are already trained, educated, and equipped to work with you as well as you move forward. So if you want to move forward in boldness and effective in the gift that God has placed on your life, go ahead, call us today, enroll and register with us today. I'm Prophet Shani Beckford. I'm the founder and one of the instructors at Elevation Bible College. I certainly look forward to working with you and seeing you in our classes. God bless you. When you know what you're called to do and what God has called you to do, you have been trained, equipped, nurtured, and developed in your call. It makes serving so much easier. So whether you're called to be a pastor, assistant, or a youth pastor, you're called to work as a lay member or administrative staff within your church or outside of the church, it makes it so much easier for you to serve. Here at Elevation Bible College and School of Prophets, we are helping Christians all around the globe to identify their gift and their call and also to nurture mobilize and equip them to be more effective and efficient in Christian ministry not just within the church but also to have a global impact I want to introduce you to our certificate in Christian ministry with this certificate it qualifies you to operate in any of the career paths as a pastor or administrative worker within the church now this offers you five courses which are homiletics, effective Christian leadership, the Holy Spirit, evangelism, and pastoral care. If this sounds like anything that you are interested in, you can feel free to go ahead and contact us. Our email will be in the description box. Our contact number also will be found in our description. It is 876-215-5484. You can call us for more information. Once you have joined our family at Elevation Bible, college you will be studying with us in the christian ministry course for six months which equates to two semesters you will be a part of a great warm christian community with students from all over the globe we will definitely have amazing christ-centered instructors that will help you to walk much greater in the purpose that god has placed on your life you can register for this program once you have called us you will be a part of a virtual classroom if you are not located in Jamaica, you cannot study with us in person, then we understand. You can study with us virtually. Once you have a laptop, you have Wi-Fi, all you have to do is connect with us and you'll be a part of a Christian community studying with us to fulfill the call that God has on your life. You can feel free to study at your own pace. If you feel as though you cannot do five courses in two semesters, then you can always communicate with us and you can study at your own pace payment plans are absolutely available scholarships are also available if you have one and we want to work with you until you feel as though you are bold enough equipped enough to go forth and to plunge the hell and populate heaven call us today and register for a christian ministry course we want to work with you we believe that god has a call on your life and we want to see you walk in the fullness of that which god has called you into I'm Pastor Shani Beckford, the founder and an instructor at Elevation Bible College, and I look forward to seeing you in our classes. God bless you.